November 14, 1960, was the first day of first grade for six-year-old Ruby Bridges of New Orleans. That was also a memorable date in American history. It was the first day of court-ordered desegregation of the New Orleans public school system. Back in 1954, the Supreme Court declared the racial segregation of public schools unconstitutional. More than a year later, some African-American parents in New Orleans sued the school board for failure to comply with the court's ruling. Finally, after almost five years of legal wrangling, a federal order was issued demanding the gradual desegregation of New Orleans schools, beginning with the first grade. So, in November 1960, Ruby was one of only four black students starting first grade at the previously all-white schools. Ruby attended William France Elementary. The other three went to another school. Federal marshals escorted Ruby past a rioting white mob into the building. All of the teachers except one refused to teach while a black child was enrolled. And within that first week of classes, nearly all of the white students in the schools had withdrawn. In Ruby's class, she and the teacher were the only two. And it stayed that way for the rest of the school year. Despite the continued threats and retaliation against her family, Ruby remained at France Elementary, and in 1961, she advanced to the second grade. 